hey there it's robin with chestnut grove studios and i just wanted to do a quick walk through with these cute little girl junk journals i made for grandma to do art with her granddaughters this one is for adeline and this one is for annabelle and they're pretty much similar as far as the pages on the inside are go um one prefers purple and one prefers pink so wherever i um could choose those colors i did that so we'll just walk through this one. Um, it's a little tie. And the first page is A is for Annabelle. It's a coloring page. Then a little pocket here. Then some little cards, blank cards that they can write on and draw on. Another blank page to draw it says hello they like to go to the beach so I made this spread for beachy things and these um, cards they can color and cut out and put on in the ocean the next page is decorate your birthday cake and I personalized it with their birthday I used a stencil from Sean Petit and um, art girl and drew this with a white gel pen the next page just has a belly band with the words happy repeated on it and then two blank pages of paper. One's scrap paper and one's the alphabet lettering paper. And then a blank page. This is watercolor paper so when they um, they can use paints on there and it won't buckle up. And they, I just left those blank so they could um, do whatever they wanted with those. This is a secret keeper and it's just a little envelope I made and then inside I have two blank cards that I stamped on and they can write their secrets on and keep them in there. I made this little page. These are just some felt cutouts with some pearls, some twine rope and leftover paper from where I made this pocket. A dolly with some butterfly cutouts, some floral paper. Another blank page. Then I've got a double pocket here. One's got some a donut page to color that pulls out. And then just some glitter and some blank stamps. I mean, blank tags that I stamped on. Then I wrote a recipe illustration that they can color. And I was having trouble with this ink was rubbing off on the other side on this page where I said to write and draw your favorite recipe. So I just put a piece of vellum in the middle with the butterfly and that became a nice center of the book, I think. On the next page, they like to read. So I drew an open book, basically. And on this side, they can write books they've read. And on this side, books to read. And then some blank bookmarks that they can decorate themselves. The other side of that floral paper dolly and then I just drew circles with a circle template different sizes and some single stamps and they can color that however they choose. And here I've got another piece of the watercolor paper and I gave directions on how to paint a watermelon slice and then stamped your turn so they can follow the instructions. Another pocket, this has a tab on it and it flips up so they can write something there. And then this is a note card and that's a copy of a painting that I made a while back. Then another one of the stencils from Sean Petit, blank paper, washi tape. And here I made a pocket and put some flower seeds in there. Other side of the bag, some more of the blank colored donut paper and the back page and then their sisters. So they like mermaids. So I had this ribbon has the mermaid tail on it and then a coloring page. And that's the book. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you find some inspiration for a book that you can create.